hello friends welcome to my youtube channel the topic that i am going to discuss today is crossed immunoelectrophoresis which is also called as two dimensional immunoelectrophoresis and counter immunoelectrophoresis which is a type of precipitation reactions involving antigen antibody interaction but before going into the details of crossed immunoelectrophoresis and counter immunoelectrophoresis I want you all to understand some concepts first namely first antigen antibody interaction second precipitation reactions and precipitin curve third principle and working of electrophoresis fourth immunoelectrophoresis and fifth principle and working of agarose gel electrophoresis i have already uploaded videos on above mentioned topic on my youtube channel i have mentioned the link of the videos in the description so please go through it to understand crossed immunoelectrophoresis and counter immunoelectrophoresis better now let us understand crossed immunoelectrophoresis first followed by counter immunoelectrophoresis if you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the latest updates of my new uploads crossed immunoelectrophoresis which is also called as two dimensional immunoelectrophoresis in crossed immunoelectrophoresis proteins are first separated by agar gel electrophoresis after which they are electrophoresed into an antibody containing gel at right angles to the direction of the first electrophoresis the technique can be used for the analysis of serum proteins if you all can see in the figure an antigen is first electrophoresed by first dimension electrophoresis and transferred in an antibody containing gel where second dimensional electrophoresis is carried out due to electrophoresis antigen antibody interaction takes place resulting in precipitin rockets now let us understand counter immunoelectrophoresis counter immunoelectrophoresis when subjected to electrophoresis in agar gel some antibodies move towards the cathode because of a flow of buffer through the agar in that direction this phenomenon is called electroendoosmosis if an antigen is strongly negatively charged so that it moves towards the anode in spite of this flow then it is possible by a suitable arrangement of wells in an agar plate to drive antigen and antibody together by electrophoresis a precipitate can be produced within a few minutes this technique is known as counter immunoelectrophoresis it can be used for the rapid identification of bacteria and mycoplasma and for the diagnosis of some viral diseases If you are watching my video for the first time subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification of all my videos thank you